Namaste everyone. Uh, thank you for joining in this ongoing video series on learning the lagna. And uh, we have covered 10 lagnas thus far. And uh, today we will be discussing on Aquarius lagna. Okay. So just like Scorpio, Aquarius is one of the critical lagnas that we have. Okay. And uh, it is the lagna for Kali Yuga. Okay. Because it's ruled by Saturn. And, uh, you know, Aquarians, they are people who are meant for this yoga, for this age of Kali Yuga. Okay. Now, uh, the astrological symbol for Aquarius is a pot which contains liquid like water that may have been gathered together and stored. Okay. Now, that liquid which is gathered in the pot could also be poisonous. So, you know, it's a very mystical lagna. It's a very mysterious lagna. Yes. It's just like, you know, you are there in the desert, thirsty for a drink of liquid. And then someone offer, comes along and offers you liquid from a pot. Now, not many would be brave enough to drink it. But then I would still go ahead and drink it because, you know, it's better to die being poisoned instantly rather than dying from thirst. Yeah, but that's for another time. Okay. Now, uh, because the pot symbolizes, the water in the pot symbolizes things that have been gathered and stored. So Aquarians, they enjoy gathering knowledge because Venus is the lord of two education houses. That means the fourth house and the ninth house. So Venus becomes the yoga karaka and Saturn is exalted in the ninth house of knowledge of higher education. Yes. So Aquarians, they are more interested in, you know, in material and scientific expertise rather than in spiritual wisdom. Because both Venus and Saturn, they are materialistic grahas. Okay. Now, you know, for Aquarians, gains always alternate with losses in the lives. Yes, in their lives. For, you know, because Saturn, it also rules the 12th house of loss. So, you know, Saturn, it rules both the first and the 12th houses of this lagna. So, as a result, you know, the... <clears throat> the person having a curious lagna will always alternate with between gains and losses. Okay. And just like Capricorn, because Saturn is the slowest planet, so progress in career is very, very slow. Okay. Uh, but then, you know, this tendency of having a slow career is less pronounced for Aquarius as compared to Capricorn because, you know, while Capricorn is a feminine Rashi, Aquarius is a masculine Rashi and hence it is more active as compared to Capricorn. Okay. Now, Aquarius, it rules the 11th house of the natural zodiac. And uh, Jupiter, you know, being the lord of the 11th, foreign Aquarius lagna, they, you know, these people will show a lot of interest in friends and in clubs and societies. Okay. Now, money is an 11th house matter. But then these, you know, these uh, people having Aquarius lagna, they are usually not overly excited by money. Okay. Why? Because Jupiter, which is the lord and significator of two materialistic houses, does not feel at home. Yes, in either houses. Okay. And because Saturn does not indicate money. Okay. Saturn does not indicate friends either. But for Aquarius, the 11th house is Sagittarius, which though it has little affinity for money, okay, which though is ruled by Jupiter, but, you know, the sign of Sagittarius has a great affinity for social obligations and for friends. Okay. And Saturn gets debilitated in the third house of Aquarius Lagna, which promotes timidity and uh, detracts from siblings because Mars, which is the, you know, which is the third Lord, as well as the Karaka for the third house is Saturn's enemy. Okay. Now, Rahu is the co-ruler of Aquarius, just like, you know, just like Ketu is the core cool ruler for Scorpio. So it creates a certain, you know, idiosyncratic tinge to the native's behavior. And this is particularly profound because Rahu will always move in a direction as well as Ketu. Rahu and Ketu will always move in a direction that is opposite to that of the other planets. And uh, the influence of Saturn tends to make Aquarians more introverted than the, you know, than the Aries natives or the, you know, sorry, then the Scorpio natives, okay? And, uh, you know, because Rahu also represents espionage or, you know, or it rules spies. So the natives of Aquarius, they usually try to hide their 
idiosynchronicities and keep your activities secret. Okay. So this is the lagna of scientists, of researchers. Okay. Because Rahu also indicates research. Right. So this is about Aquarius lagna. Do let me know if you found it useful. Do let me know if it resonated with you. And leave your comments in the feedback section. And if you want a consultation regarding your horoscope, please reach out at the number provided in the description box. Okay. So next week, I'll see you with the last class of this ongoing series, which is about Paishis Lagna. Thank you, everyone. Like this content, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you soon in yet another video. Om Guru Venamaha.